I also find it a very unique situation um, and um, I am a bit worried for the situation and I hope that um, we can find a way to solve this just as we talked about it today that there could be some kind of forces or some pressure uh, for the Turkish government to um, to cut the isolation and the silence because every uh, every person has the right to uh, communicate to their family, to their lawyers, and has a right for a just tr just trial. So the right to have a fair trial is a human right, and um, I would say that it's uh, because uh, he symbolizes uh, a struggle for freedom, but also because of his writings uh, and his message and. Um, the movements that are very uh, related to him, he is symbolizing uh, something bigger. Um, yeah, like what I heard, he is also uh, inspiring other others, both women and men. Uh, and also especially they said today that uh, even men are, uh, when we talked to the women's organization, they said that some men, they kind of uh, intellectually get inspired and um, learn from his teachings <laughs> in a way. So I think um, good role models in, in all sense will inspire people. When you preach for equality, then equality then shall be for all. <laughs> yeah, uh, we will write a report and we will also go back to our home countries and report about all the very touching stories and uh, first-hand information that we got. Um, so I will definitely share this and I think everyone in this delegation will go back and spread the word. And I must say I'm deeply touched and it was a very emotional day. Um, because uh, I couldn't, uh, not in my, I couldn't imagine the situation would be like this, truly. Um, so it's worse than I thought. And I don't know if you heard of it, but uh, since <coughs> Sweden is entering like NATO and uh, the, the big uh, like conflict in the NATO entering process was the dialogue with Erdogan and the Turkish government. Uh, Turkey telling Swedish government they are very PKK friendly. Um, so um, the question has been raised also in Swedish media and I think there is more eyes and focus and awareness. So I think in this context it's a good uh, part to share what we heard here. And uh, as a world citizen and a world traveler, I am worried for the Kurdish people and the Kurdish language because as I heard, um, Kurds are not allowed to speak the language or to... Um, the teachers uh, aren't teaching them uh, in their language, in their native language, and this is also a human right. Um, and. I've never seen a situation like this in other places uh, in the world. Because I've also been to South America, for example, there's uh, indigenous people. Mm -hmm.